My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to episode number 64 of the 120 Days to Jump Physics with Flash Isaac. Before now, we dealt with mirrors intensively. I would say that we have clean mirrors. We have curved mirrors. Plain mirrors are plain, they have their characteristics. Then we said curved mirrors can be concave or convex mirror. Then earlier in this class, which is earlier in refraction of light, we maintain that refraction can take place in plain surfaces or curved surfaces. And we've been able to look at refraction in plain surfaces like water glass and air. This episode introduces you to a uh, refraction in curved surfaces. Curved surfaces or curved surface. And when you talk about curved surface, we are talking about lenses or lens. So this episode on the other hand or in another word covers Refraction in lenses. Lens refer to transparent glass, transparent glass, which can concentrate, concentrate, or disperse light when passed through them. This gives us two types of lenses because only one lens cannot do both of these concentrate and disperse light no we have two types of lenses we have concave lens and we have convex lens concave lens ladies and gentlemen dealing with these lenses, concave and convex, I expect you to remember everything we've done on that mirror. Bring out that knowledge. It will help you understand very well. If you don't understand this and even more, then you did not follow the classes on that mirrors. Please make sure you follow mirrors classes. Because if you follow mirrors, everything here will be easy for you to understand. Concave lens. If you have something like this, you see a hole here. This is the reflecting part or the transparent part. This is the mirror part. So this is concave. concave. Now, if the reflective part is like this, it's outside like this, this curved part like this, you said this is a convex. Lens. Concave lens. Now, transparent glass that can concentrate or disperse. To concentrate means to converge. To disperse means to diverge. Ladies and gentlemen, which means the two types of lenses are converging lenses. And diverge. So, this is a concave lens. Concave lens. In mirrors, we did it part of our uh, concave and concave mirrors, like the center of curvature, the radius of curvature, uh, the focus, the pole, and what are we? And this is the principal axis. We dealt with all of these parts. Please don't learn. Forget. Now let's see formation of image in a concave lens and the types of image formed in a concave lens. Where is this image formed? Now, this is what happens. Concave lens, you place the objects around here, be, uh, between the uh, focus or anywhere around here that you place the object. Concave lens forms basically similar type of image. So it doesn't have to do with position. Anywhere you place the object, 
the image form will have the same characteristic, which is V E D. They are virtual. They are erased, erased, and they are diminished. The image is formed by concave lens are virtual, erased, and diminished. Or you can even say highly, highly diminished. They get smaller. Virtual, erased, and diminished. These are the characteristics of images formed by a concave lens. And the image is formed between this focus, principal focus, and the lens. That is the placement of the image between principal focus and the lens. Images formed by concave lens are virtual, erect, and diminished, and the image is between the principal focus and the lens. This is what happens. When you are given an object, you draw a ray that is parallel to this principal axis. So this is the ring. It goes here and stops at its middle. The ray will reflect back. So from here, it will reflect and go back through this focus. Right? Then, you draw another ray passing straight from the object through the optical center on the flatted. Something like this. It goes straight on the flatted. This is the second ray. So this point where this guy bounces back and where this guy meets is where the image is formed. So this reflection, this ray reflects and comes back like this. Dot, dot. Through the focus, this straight goes on deflected. So this common point is where the image is formed. Between the principal focus and the optical center. So, in summary, um, lens are transparent glasses that converge or diverge rays, giving us concave and convex lens. Concave lens is a lens that the reflective part or the outside is curved, is like a cave, and the image is formed by concave lens are virtual, erect, and highly diminished. And the position of this image is between the principal focus and the optical center. For convex lens, the image that is formed depends on the position of the object. Just like we did in mirrors. If you place object at infinity, it may be deformed at a particular position. So anywhere you switch the object to, that is where the image will be formed. So if you are told that for a convex lens, the object is placed in between dash or at infinity, what is the characteristic of the image formed? Or where will the image formed? So that is what we are going to look at in the next episode. Please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out that video. And don't forget to tell your friends about the Flash Enhance YouTube channel. Go to your app, Play Store, install the Flash Enhance application. It is going to help you pass your examination. See you in the next video.